Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Sergey Ganisyan. And in the next 10 minutes, we are going to talk with our guest, Mr. Mateusz Grzeszak, a Polish and international scientist and business consultant. Mr. Grzeszak, thank you very much for joining me today. Pleasure. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Grzeszak, you're a, a coach of, uh, a psych psychologist of interpersonal and business relations and also the uh, emotional uh, intelligence. How, I watched your speech before and it was really inspirational. So tell me, how it, how it actually, how it works? How it works in your uh, occupation? How do you deliver, how you make people more confident in, this, in themselves? Well, making people confident is only one small bit of a larger plan. And the plan is to make people conscious. To make people conscious, then there's two types of education in the world. One is academic education and another is soft skills, which sometimes we call emotional intelligence, but soft skills is a bigger idea. I call this interdisciplinary psychology. So say you finish university and you graduate from it and you're a perfect engineer or a doctor. You have talent, you have skills, but you don't know how to position yourself on the market or you don't use social media to promote yourself. And suddenly you're unhappy because you don't make money or people don't come to you. They come to your competition, but your competition is not as talented as you are. So you go, maybe I should learn something more. And this is when soft skills, interdisciplinary psychology comes in. So you learn about marketing, about sales, about self-realization, about building relationships uh, with clients, but also to educate your children in a better way. You learn management to organize the group of your team, the time of your team, and processes of your team better. You learn leadership so that you inspire others in family life and it also um, in the workplace. And also you learn about the culture because Ukraine thinks differently than Germany or America or Poland. And you learn about values to be ethical and to have your own codexes. All this together is about giving people psychological, practical knowledge. We're not talking about theories from the 70s, you know, I had difficult childhood, no, 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 no. When I go to a corporation and they say, Mateusz, can you please improve our sales? They don't want psychological theories, they want effects, they want key performance indicators. Just like all of us, this is what we need. We need psychology to improve our lives. And you saw a presentation, 25 minutes of inspiring people to learn interdisciplinary psychology and confidence is a small part of it but if you're confident you make more money you're more self-assured you have better job and statistics show and research that you have better academic results yeah and you said that every country should uh, take an, a different approach and in Ukraine we've been a post-soviet country and you mentioned yourself that this homo sovieticus uh, factor that still plays a major role in Ukrainian education and without the education we're not making uh, we cannot make uh, people con more conscious right conscious. of course so uh, so yeah here in Ukraine people don't want to be uh, well more confident and more uh, successful not because they don't want to but they don't even think about it because they don't have education so how can we ca combat all this I, I agree with you uh, our past and our past is similar in many contexts when it comes to this geographical region uh, gave us a few gifts, right? And gift here is an ambiguous word, gift a venom, but gift also a present. One of them is Homo Sovieticus, which is a personality of someone who was educated and brought up in communism. No matter if I work or I don't work, I should always get the salary, right? I don't think in category we, I only think about category myself. Uh, I cannot change anything in my life because I'm the victim of the system. And all this, made sense and was based on facts 30, 40 years ago. But now we live in a free country. Now I can go to an office and open a company. I can start my own business. So if I know how to do it, I can free myself from previous generation mentality which doesn't help me. And of course that we all have certain features like I'm a victim, I am not responsible for my life, this is my fate, this is my destiny. If you are Buddhist, you can say this is my karma. But the truth is that we are creators of our own fate. Look at this, I wanted to come to Ukraine, so I prepared it, I contacted companies, I was invited, uh, we organized this um, interview with you. I'm thinking about how to inspire Ukrainians so that they become more intelligent when it comes to soft skills. All this depends on us. And thank you very much that the divine powers have connected us. But the truth is that it also depends greatly on how we function. And of course, confidence or, self, uh, or being self-assured or um, financial intelligence is not at school. So people don't know how it works. If you tell them, 
how to make vareniki, right? They will tell you. They know the ingredients and they know the procedure. But if you tell them how to learn English, now they have small problems. They don't know the ingredients. How to make business? They have no idea how to make business because it was not at school. So now we introduce it on seminars and conferences so that people learn interdisciplinary psychology and they realize it's a skill. It's not a talented gift from someone. It's not magic. It's pure science. It's just the science that is very young. It was created 30, 40 years ago in the United States. And now we elaborate on it. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's awesome. But you know, here in Ukraine, other factors also uh, influence how, the, how people think and how people live, especially the war now. Uh, for example, a, an average person who comes from Donetsk or from Luhansk to Kyiv, he doesn't have money, he doesn't have uh, well, um, uh, work, he doesn't have anything, uh, a place to live in. So what, he should, what should he do uh, in, in such a matter? Well, he's, it's quite complicated for many people out there. It, it is very complicated and also very sad. But if you cannot change something, you accept it, which means you see the facts and you say, what can be done about those facts? And what certain things, like war, for example, they don't depend on me. So I cannot beat myself up for the situation. But what does depend on me is my education. Buying a book about what it means to uh, be a better manager. Buying a book on uh, how to learn a foreign language. Because if I know English, I will get a better job. It means uh, visiting some seminars or courses where they teach you what you want to do. Say you want to be an IT expert, so you start learning IT courses. Say you want to be a personal trainer, so you go to the gym and you practice a lot and so on and so on. So what depends on me? I do. I learn. This is the most important advice I can give. Learn. Because this will create you the way you want. And of course, it's not easy, it's not simple, and sometimes it's very tragic. But it doesn't mean that I should be the victim of what happens to me. It means that this person who comes from there definitely is stronger than the average Joe, definitely is more experienced when it comes to emotions, definitely is more self-confident when it comes to, if I can solve that, I definitely can solve different things. Those people in a proper market will be very, very successful because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So they have many resources and they are not conscious of them. It's true, uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's, it's re really true. But here in Ukraine, uh, many politicians many, uh, and government in general have chosen another way to victimize the country, to make it, uh, to call, constantly remind people that Ukraine is a victim of an, an aggression of another country. And uh, uh, it seems like it works actually because we have a lot of help from uh, other states, from Western states and from Polish, from Poland as well. So, um, not sure, do you find this way correct? It's, um, it's a situation that is not black and white because if I was to describe how the responsibility is divided here, I would put it into a quadrant. Firstly, I would say, what am I responsible for? We spoke about this, education, planning of my future, learning and so on. What is the other person responsible for? Well, the government and politicians do what they always do. They want to win elections. So they will always sell you the story that you're most eager to buy, right? The question is, what kind of story do you prefer? Do you prefer a story, I'm a victim of what happens, and there's always a reason to be a victim, right? If it's not war, it's difficult childhood. If it's not difficult childhood, it's mm, uh, nobody cares about me. The mentality itself is based on my life doesn't depend on me, but it's only partially true. Some things depend on God, whatever, if we believe or not. Sometimes it's a coincidence. We are on the plane and there's turbulence. What, I will hold the chair and says I will stop it? It doesn't depend on me. Sometimes it depends on the situation, like difficult times that Ukraine was and is going through, especially in, in the eastern part of the country. Sometimes it depends on the other person. So for instance, I communicate with you, I influence you, you influence me, and certain aspects depend also on me. What depends on me, I influence. What doesn't, I say, I hope it will be better. That's a ni nice approach to it. And uh, one, probably one last question. So this confidence that makes you stronger and makes you wanna uh, achieve more. So how does it start? Just buying a book, just, it, 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 doesn't, it cannot be that simple, just buying a book and learn about, uh, get, get more knowledge. How so does it work? If I 
talk to my five-year-old daughter, Adriana, and I say, is speaking in Spanish, Polish, and English simple? She says, da, papa, of course it is, right? If I talk to someone who is 50 years old, and they tried for 20 years, they never succeeded, they will say, it's complicated, I don't have talent. Simple means that you know how to do it. If you train something and you did something, then you become an expert at it because of practice. Practice makes a master, right? It's, it's a fact. Now, it starts usually with a book because from a person who comes from war zone, probably they are at the very beginning of their consciousness development. So book is the good beginning, right? But also, uh, it can be about seminars, it can be about finishing studies, going to schools which offer practical abilities. Uh, then you realize that once you start practicing it, it becomes simple. To give you an example, there is research from Harvard University uh, performed by um, Amy Cadley, which says that depending on how you sit, you will produce more or less stress. Example, if I talk to you like this, with open arms, uh, uh, gesturing a lot, with so-called power pose, I could even do this, then I would produce a little bit more testosterone and my cortisol level, stress, will go down. But if I do this, if I sit like this, if I'm afraid of you, then after two minutes, my cortisol, stress level, will go up and my self-confidence will drop. So it is simple, but you know what? It took thousands of years for universities to create theories about this. So now it's simple. Well, everything is simple when you know how to do it. But you simply need to learn it and unfortunately, I hope it will change. This is not at school yet. But we have some good progress in Denmark. Only a couple of months ago, they introduced emotional intelligence, empathy classes at school. So it's starting, right? I am sure that you remember what it was like when in Ukraine only Russian was available and now children learn English. So everybody speaks English, right? And it's popular. You will see the moment, hopefully I will as well, that sales, marketing, management, leadership is also the subject and is a friend of mathematics because we need it. We need it to be better as ourselves and we need it to be better to make our culture better, stronger and more confident and successful. Wow, Mr. Grzeszek, thank you very much. Again, very inspirational. Thank you, thank you for uh, joining me today. Pleasure. Thank you very much. So uh, this is where we have to live, unfortunately. You've been watching Ukraine Today. My name is Sergei Ganisyan and I'll see you next time.